came. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. Nosy bastards. Fuck off. Daddy. My father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find Go, him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Orin. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. It wasn't always this way, but something about Mary. It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Uh -huh. His ass into thinking straight. Hopefully. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Something needs to happen between Arthur and Mary. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very oh. funny. Are you? You can't stand there. What in the street? 
Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She finally... Great country? She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn I never this. do. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Got a wild juke. Goose chairs. You see? Right, Mary. Wait, Arthur. You're doing you it wrong, Dad. I had such a high opinion of himself. Stay in the obvious much. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur. Come on. He just went between those crates. Don't lose sight of him. Hmm? Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Yep. Mind where you go. Sorry. Oh, not wrong. Oh, yeah. That is not I a good so. color to be throwing up. I don't think so. Just saying. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that right. goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Never to all kick someone's he just ass. Went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Didn't know it was meeting Daddy. Your letter didn't state it. Heading across the road. You know, been good. This is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Thank you kindly. Sorry, what? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. I know, I saw. Thank you, Candle. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of He'll be going to sell morals, something in the trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems oh. he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the money. 
Mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was that mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh. Hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! Only slightly. Probably. Ah, I'm doing business. There's my horse. Okay, now you sped off. Jesus Christ. Push my horse with that fast. My horse up. Come on, Jimothy. Where are you? There you go, girl. Here we are. Yeehaw! You stop right now! Come on, girl, keep pushing. Nearly there. We'll get him. Jimothy. You can't do this. Move, bitch. You're making a big mistake. Nope. I will not let you go. Do you Turn know and who I am? Terrible. Do what I want. I'm an outlaw. Where are you taking me? Yep. Nah, I don't think so. Yep. Straight up here. Don't much care. Get out of there. You know who I am? You're about to find out. Leave me alone. To a swamp. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I Come guess on, I sunshine. Could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, Let okay. Me ask twice. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Fuck off. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's about... gonna pay for no. this. No. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh well. Come on, girl. Where you at? Come 
my cat took to me. Nearly there. Another five miles to go. Off, Let's take please. a walk. Hello, thank you. Buttons pressed. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. Well, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why, yes. Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, no, head the... to the theater, perhaps. Uh, theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, it'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed Go you. On. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course, I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so. Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. 
us another story. I'll write you. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. Oh, so my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find <laughs> some. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Bronte. He just scratches that up and put it on his toes. Respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Ganga? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Dutch to meet ah, Senor Bronte. The angry cowboys who arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. There, yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. the self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking 
None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on Wonder the why. range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again. Pompous asshole. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go okay. ingratiate ourselves. Be in that room. There's something good. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Self touch. You go find us some place to run. Go no. make us some new friends. Is that, Is that all we're doing? Good evening, sir. Got it. You know what? Sure, why not? I like the bubbles. Let's get drunk. Where is the mayor? Suggested that all of us here? as Americans this have a duty to take care of people nope. living in this land. And that extends what was the guy in the top part? It ain't complex, and you and only an idiot like oh, you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I am not drunk, you fool. But this man. This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. Get your hands off me. I'm just gonna get drunk. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. You can rejoin yep. the party. Sounds good to me. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Hey. Right. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can it's still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, Some people just got under the drink. Drunk it on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that's fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Mr. Peace. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Follow this guy and get information out of him. Cornwall's coming here, we're gonna be in for a big fight. Hello? Where hello? I'm in for this war. Oh, look at my magnificent beard. Well Beautifully long hair. I am very rich, <laughs> yes. Got money coming out of my ass. Like Thank you, Mr. Terrick. said he will sign later. Yeah. Like he's planning to uh, turn Mr. Bronte in. <sighs> Marie! Not against Marie! it, per se, but... Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! We will not have standard slip in this house! <sighs> have you lost your mind? Not too close. I said, Fine. have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. No, 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 no. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Really? Sorry, big man. God. Where people treat women is disgusting. No, that's it. Guards! Guards! We have an intruder! Going into that. Sure is. So am I. Hey! Punch him in the face! The telephone, it keeps ringing! The mayor said he will sign later. Chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, Have you lost your mind? Come here. Come Are you going here. To rock? Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. Really?
What a dick. Give you the right to be with me. Motherfucker. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Sure, he's gonna want to see it. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Right there. What is the reason for this? I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank, real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank. Maybe, and a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with Enjoy themselves. Oh, high society. I'm a walking like I'm drunk. If you I ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. Tell I might have it. an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. <laughs> Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Good morning, Arthur. The Golden Boy. I think they're living in a dream. But we'll see what happens. Good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, 
no. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Ah! All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe nice. house that gang she ran with used from a woman time with to balls. time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, Anyone else? Along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the ball. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right. Get after them. Yeah. Hey, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, you're good to pay. Only you. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, look. 
Get him. I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him to Tilly. Nope. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get away. Go on. Rope that bastard. Let's get it. I like this woman. She's badass. Nope. Right on his ass. Make sure you time up real good. I don't know what happened to my last hill then, but okay. Yeah, I do. Keep doing that. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. There we go. He ain't running. This bitch is mine. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Poor coward. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Your mother. I reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's alive. Good. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday what? like hell. Uh, what the hell? I should have shot the bitch shut yesterday. Shut the hell up. All right, all right, damn it. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She yes. killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge about him? is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. 